Hey Cameron, I'm at Holiday Park and I've stumbled upon the ruins. Ooh. Which means this video has now been ruined. <laughs> Stupid body revolting against joy. Hey, me from the future. Sorry about the uh, the wind and the rain noise in this part of the video. It will be over soon. Anyway, you might be asking, hey Alex, it's January. Why are you using an umbrella and it appears to be raining? Well, Cameron, I'm glad you asked that question because uh, last night, it started snowing. I took this video to brag about the fact that we have snow here. You're not getting snow like this there in Georgia. But the weather gods at some point overnight decided it was appropriate to have the temperature spike. And as a result, I'm now in a wet cold hellscape instead of frolicking in a winter wonderland. Because it's 40 fucking degrees at 8 a.m. in January. Stupid global warming. A letter to the pedants. Dear pedants. I know that there is a difference between weather and climate. Likewise, I know that we no longer refer to this change in climate as global warming, instead, helpfully, as climate change. I recognize this is to demonstrate that although the cause of the change in climate is, as all evidence points to, at least in part, human-caused global warming, the phenomenon we are referencing is the large-scale change in climate. Undoubtedly, this change was in part to stop people from going, oh, it's snowing, climate change isn't real. However, the science nerds seem to have forgotten about our one true ongoing pandemic, human stupidity. Stupidity, like a silly joke, which was there and I thought was funny. The joke required a small amount of intellectual inconsistency from me, but I reiterate, it was funny. Bite me. Love, Alex. P.S. Feel free to be as pedantic as you like in comments. It helps engagement. Yes, I actually wrote the letter because I committed to the bit and it was funny. On a completely unrelated note, I got this glorious grapefruit kombucha when I went to Target today. And uh, it's pretty good. I'd say like 6.7 out of, out of 10. Um, but it had this tag on it that said, try me, I'm new. And I know that they intended like a happy chipper, try me, I'm new. But I was already upset thinking about like the hypothetical pedants that I was gonna have to write a letter to. So I read it as aggressive, like try me, I'm new. Anyway, Cameron, I enjoyed your video on candy wrappers. However, I did notice that at the end, it cut off right at five minutes before your number one rapper. Now, as you know, we have a five minute limit on videos. And if you went over five minutes, you would be punished. So I do appreciate the fact that you are more committed to not being punished than you are to creating complete lists. However, we cannot move forward without a complete list of rappers with a W, which is why I propose a new rapper or specifically a wrapping guide, like this wrapping guide, which is a method for wrapping pigeons for dropping from aircraft from the pigeon service manual. As you can see, it demonstrates how to wrap the pigeon to then drop out of the aircraft. What kind of an aircraft will you be dropping out of? Who knows? Maybe a Boeing B777-300ER, which this schematic is for, but not for operational use. Do I think your number one pick was gonna be a wrapping guide for wrapping pigeons for dropping out of aircraft? Probably not, probably not. And does it fit with the rest of the candy wrappers that you had on the list? Certainly no, but it is weird, which is like me, and it is funny because comedy.